Hi there. In the process of repairing this key fob or remote control, I uh, discovered something quite interesting. In the, while I was taking it apart, uh, you know, one of the things that I saw was that it had a little uh, uh, piece of speaker over here, uh, just to give some audio feedback uh, when pressing the, the buttons on the front here. And uh, while I was taking it apart, it, it, you know, I, I had a look and I saw the, there was the speaker, uh, there was a little contact on here that pressed against the speaker, but I sort of wondered where the, the other contact or spring was. Uh, I, I thought it might have fallen out during the process of this assembly. So I, I quickly looked around, I couldn't find a spring. Uh, what I did find though was this little uh, rubber tube uh, and uh, upon closer inspection you'll see there's an actual piece of uh, exposed uh, PCB around where this tube fits in over there. And uh, that got me to thinking. So as you can see this little tube just fits on here presses down against that part of the uh, exposed PCB and the other end, this part, presses down right over here you know, uh, where, that, uh, where that tubing comes on. So uh, that supposedly would then form the other part of the uh, contact. It's of course quite easy to just confirm or measure that. And you can see it's actually quite uh, conductive. It's not just like slightly conductive. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, multimeter here, and it, uh, it's showing 0.3 ohms, even you know between the inside and the outside of this tube. So yeah, so I went and did a bit of research, and uh, yeah, it's quite clear that uh, you actually get uh, these in, in uh, large quantities and they're basically used in shielding applications. It's quite, a, quite an interesting, interesting use of this little uh, tube just for the uh, contact on this little remote control.